Hi friends, good morning. How are you? Hope you are doing well and you like my classes. Now see, uh, in this classes, I am planning to introduce an input parameter and I will do some calculation depending on the input parameter. In the previous class, what I did, I have created a, I can create a calculated column and mid calculated column, I am just apply, just multiply this product price with a 1.2. 20% increment now as a requirement depending upon that depending upon the user or depending on your input the product price will be increased so i would like to create a new product price and also i would like to get a percentage from your product okay so let's create an input parameter first over here so i'm going to create a new input parameter i'm going to input parameter and again as i've told you i'm creating a new input parameter and that is broad uh, product increment okay it is a direct value and i'll check it with it so i take type is as if um, type is something like that i can take a decimal and it's two and two okay so it's some the decimal how much percentage increased okay i hope this is fine with you and consider this is a mandatory parameter okay multiple not multiple this is a mandatory parameter okay click on okay so it's one more let's get it I'll do a calculation in this view. So I'll create a calculation CC. CC. Price, okay. Mm, and this. Uh, decimal so it's like bar of two now here what i will do i'll use the column product price and product price will be is product price will be multiplied by input parameter product increment right click the syntax okay so now let us active now it's, it's, let's save these things once it is saved, again I need to do a project disinformation semantic layer. So it's important to semantic layer. Now I am doing activation. So it's activated. Now I'm going to do this the first is a category. Here I am going to give you my favorite number 69. And here I'm considering now this increment will be one point four percent one point four times forty percent so one point four and let's get quick now do it say so it is all about sixty nine now cc new price is twenty four twenty percent given cc product IT price is forty percent given see real price is twenty it is twenty percent fixed increment and is a forty percent given depending on that it is forty percent has increased it's fine right so this is the way how we could create a input parameter and you can use this input parameter in the in the in the calculation. So I am creating the input parameter and this input parameter I am using in the calculation. So if I go to the calculation, I am again open the circuit price. Here I am just multiplying the product price with the input parameter increment increment information. So it is given to me as a result. Okay. I hope you understood this point. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Please subscribe my channel if you feel it's good. Thank you. Bye.